It's Thursday night, so you guys know what that means. It's TNF and a chance to win $25,000. Hey, what's going on, everybody? How's all my free fantasy players doing on this fine day? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Jenks for joining me on this episode. This one takes us over to the FoxBet Super 6 app where we can win $25,000. They give you six questions. You've got to correctly all and correctly answer all six questions to win that $25,000. No Yahoo Fantasy Slate app. I've waited as long as I can. One of the great supporters here of the show kind of alerted me to win. Yahoo Fantasy Slate throws up that Thursday night contest. At the time of doing this recording, check just before it. Still not Yahoo Fantasy Slate. So if they do come out with a game, I'll just go ahead and tweet my answers from that. Let's jump on into this FoxBet Super 6 app, though. Last week, we had a pretty good showing. I got the first TD score, right? I got all the teams right. Now, I didn't predict any of the yardage right, but I got all the teams right. And then I also got the winner right, but I didn't get the win margin right. So I got 16 points. I think that's a good result. I mean, basically, you know, I got all six questions right. But just those yardages and those win margins is obviously really tough, and there's a reason why nobody's won this jackpot. So we got to do better, so let's get on after it. And this week, you'll notice that they tweak the they tweak the questions a little bit. I like it. It wasn't the same game that we've gotten for the same past three weeks. They're a little bit different. So like what we got, a little variety here. Let's jump on into it. Of course, my research is over the last three games and injuries will make this one a little bit tough to predict here on Tuesday. So make sure you're following me on Twitter. If I make any changes as we get more injury-related news, I'll go ahead and tweet those out. But obviously you got the Baker Mayfield issue with his injury. Nick Chubb, he's a little bit of an unknown. We do know Kareem Hunt. He's not going to be suited up for this game. But mainly you got Chubb, Mayfield. Again, this is how I'm going to answer it today. But just follow me on Twitter in case I make any changes. Question number one is who scores that first touchdown? Let's see if we can't get this one right. This is one of the tweaks that they made to this game. The Cleveland running backs, they have 12 touchdowns on the season. The wide receivers have six touchdowns on the season. The Denver running backs have three touchdowns on the season, and the wide receivers have 10 on the season. If you look at QB rushing, you got zero for Bridgewater so far this season. You got one for Baker Mayfield. If he has a, a sore shoulder coming to this game, you don't want your running back you know, putting his head down, dropping his shoulder, and taking hits on that shoulder. So while he does have a touchdown so far this season, I wouldn't expect for you know Mayfield or Bridgewater to find the end zone on this one. If you look at any other player, you got no defensive touchdowns touchdowns and no special teams touchdowns for either one of these teams and in terms of rush defense TDs allowed the Browns are allowing one point game the Broncos allow 1.3 from a pass defense perspective on TDs the Browns allow a three point game where the Broncos allow 1.7 again you got Kareem Hunt he's been put on IR Chubb is a little iffy we don't quite know his status Baker Mayfield with that shoulder injury you got Jerry Judy he's still going to be out it looks like more than likely win this game but I'm going to say Broncos passing touchdown look I mean Broncos are obviously a pass heavy team you add in the fact that the Browns are giving up a lot of passing touchdowns per game. I'll go ahead and take the chance. That'll be Broncos passing touchdown for the first touchdown of the game. Question number two is another tweak and what's going to be the longest rushing play? Which team will do that and what will be the amount? The Browns have seven big plays and keep in mind big plays are 20 or plus yards or more. Their long is 52. Broncos have four big plays with their long of seven. Bron Browns allow 3.8 yards per attempt. The Broncos allow 3.9 yards per attempt. Those are eighth and sixth in the league. So really good job of keeping you know yards per carry down for both of these teams, so they're doing good right there. I'm going to go ahead and say Broncos, though. I'm going Broncos. I'm going 16 to 25. Obviously, with the Browns, you don't have, you know, their their full weapon of running back, you know, tandem that they're going to go ahead and run out. No Hunt, no Cream, obviously, uh, or no Hunt and no Chubb, obviously, in this game. And I like what Javante Williams is doing there for Denver. We've actually made real sports bets on my daily sports betting show. We got one to cash this past week, and he's been getting big chunks of yards the past three weeks or so. So, like, I like, I'm going to go with Broncos. I'm really leaning on Javante Williams. Williams. And again, I'll say 16 to 25 just because neither of these teams are giving up big yards in that running game. Let's go ahead and try and predict the team with the most passing yards in the amount. Broncos pass for 242. The Browns are at 220 per game. Denver gets 9.3 yards per catch where the Browns get 11.4. The Broncos are passing at 70% of the time where the Browns are only passing at 53% of the time. The Broncos allow 296 yards per game. The Browns come in. Broncos allow 296. Browns come in at 260. Broncos allow 16.1 yards per catch dead last in the league. That is absolutely terrible. The Browns come in much better at 11.8. I'm going to go ahead and say Broncos on this one. I'll go ahead and say 251 to 275 yards. What I like about this is there's a 17% percentage difference in the pass plays that the Broncos run. I like that. I also like that we just don't know what we're going to get from Baker Mayfield. You know, maybe they do have to rely 
rely on that run game. If he plays, he's going to be healthy, but maybe they don't take as many deep shots as they have custom to. So I'll go ahead and say Broncos. Their situation is a little more stable coming in this game. So Broncos for me at 251 to 275. Question four is team with the longest completion in the amount. Again, Browns are 16.1 yards per carry, dead last. Browns at 11.8. Browns have 19 big plays in that passing game. Broncos also have 19 big plays in that passing game. Browns with a long of 51. Broncos with a long of 55. I'll go ahead and say Browns on this one. 36 to 40. The Broncos are allowing 16.1 yards per catch, ranking dead last in the league. Cannot be ignored. They are obviously giving up the big play on a regularity. So it's Browns for me at 36 to 40 yards. Question five is which team are the most yards per catch in the amount? Kind of already giving you the stats based on these previous two questions there with passing information. So I'll go ahead and say Browns, and I'll say it'll be between 10.1 to 11 yards per catch. Will be that one. Question number six is of course who's going to win the game and what's going to be that win margin. The current line right now is Browns minus 3.5 with the over under at 40. 43 points. Again, lots of unknown there with the Browns injury, obviously centered around that quarterback position and obviously their number one tailback there and Nick Chubb. So I don't know how that's going to impact their strategy, impact their game plan. They usually run the ball really heavy and that's a reason because they've got two really good running backs. You obviously aren't going to have the two good running backs in this game right here. Browns are losers of two straight. Last week, obviously getting thumped by the Cardinals and a really bad performance there by them. Browns have a tough schedule ahead. They've got the Bengals, Patriots, and Steelers the next three games. So They've really got to focus on this Broncos game because Bengals are really tough so far in this division. Steelers are always going to play you tough, and we know Bill Belichick, uh, you know, he's just never going to give you an easy win right there. So they, they do kind of need to take care of business here up against this Broncos team at home. Meanwhile, the Broncos are losers of three straight, losing to the Raiders last week. The Broncos have cooled off after their good start, albeit it was bad competition against the Giants, Jets, and Jags, but that's kind of what we talked about on my daily show is – were the Broncos really that good? Or was it the fact that they had gone up against the Jets, the Giants, and Jags? It looks like they obviously had a lot of success feasting on bad competition. Uh, Browns, I think, have one of the better defenses in the league. I really like their changes in the offseason. like how they've been playing. Again, unknown on their offense, but I'm going to go ahead and back the Browns in this situation. I'll say Browns by three to four points. But again, just make sure you're following on Twitter. Let's get that injury news, see if we make any modifications. But as of now, I do think the Browns will go ahead and get it done. I think Baker Mayfield will go ahead and suit up. So we'll say Browns by three to four. All right, that's how we'll do it. And again, of course, if Yahoo Fantasy Slate comes out with a contest, I'll go ahead and tweet my picks for that. They did come out with an NBA contest, which I couldn't get a video out for just because there's no data to go off of. Obviously, we're in the first game of the NBA season. So I went ahead and just made picks, kind of looking at last year's numbers. But I already went ahead and tweeted those out. So if you want to check me out on Twitter, you can get my picks for tonight's NBA contest. Otherwise, guys, it's Thursday night. It's between the Broncos and Browns. Enjoy the game. Good luck with your picks. And we'll see you back here on the next contest. That was a lot of fun. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and good luck with your picks. If interested in placing real sports bets, then check out my latest daily free sports betting video in the bottom right corner. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next contest.